All right, folks, so I want to review how you can use your metacognitive markers on Google Slides when you're reading text. Um, normally when we're working with these types of marks that as we read, we can write on the paper and write in the margins and things like that. Obviously, if we're working digitally, we don't have that luxury. So I just want to go through and show you um, how you can still use all of your metacognitive markers to um, to respond to the text, to react to the text for conversations and discussions later. So the met metacognitive markers that we're using for this text are the question mark when you're wondering about something. And that can be, I'm wondering about a word and what it means. It can be, I'm wondering um, why the character did that, or I'm wondering why the author used this um, expression or, or this strategy. So the question can be anything at any level. An exclamation point is when you're reacting to something that you've read. An asterisk is when you want to comment about it. And an underline is when you find a key idea or a detail. You're not expected to be able to do this all the very first time you read through it. And so sometimes what I do is read a paragraph at a time, read it, think about what I've read, read it a second time, and then respond to it at that point. And that way um, I don't have to read the whole thing and then come back. Although we will be doing that at times um, when I'm just doing my metacognitive markers. I might do it a paragraph at a time. So as I'm reading the beginning of the scholarship jacket, um, I'm just looking through and I was straight A student since the first grade. That seems pretty amazing to me. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to use um, an exclamation point. So when I come to this, after I've highlighted it, I'm going to come up to the corner and I'm going to comment. And in my comment, I'm going to use an exclamation point, and then I'm going to explain why I used it. So that is a pretty amazing accomplishment. And then I comment. That comment will stay there, and where I commented will stay um, a change in color. Um, so that I can I can see and associate the comment that I made to um, to whatever it was that I was saying. This is very helpful then later when I have to have a discussion about what I've read um, with a group or if I have to um, answer some questions later. So as I continue, um, it says that I was given to my grandparents to raise because I couldn't earn enough money. My parents couldn't earn enough money to feed eight children. So that is pretty astounding to me. So again, I'm going to come up to comment, add a new comment, and I'm going to do the asterisks. And And I can write as much as I want. I can respond in any way. Remember, being a good reader means that you have reactions and interactions with the text. And you, you think about it in relation to your own life or in relation to something else that you've read or in relation to something going on in the world. When we can tie what we're reading to other experiences, we're going to have a better understanding. And we should have strong reactions to things that we read. Things should make us angry. Things should make us wonder. They make us curious. They should make us uh, concerned. They should raise questions about the way the world works. That's what good writing does. And so if you are a quick reader, good readers can also be very quick readers. I'm going to need you to back that up a bit, slow down, and start thinking about what it is that you're reading. Because reading quickly, and knowing lots of vocabulary words is one way to be a good reader. 
but digging in and analyzing and relating to the text is another way to be a good reader and that is more important for what we're going to try to accomplish this year so reading slowly rereading analyzing digging in looking for relationships asking questions things like that that's what we're doing with our metacognitive markers so i just went through the first couple of paragraphs and i found some things to mark so that later on i will be able to um, have a conversation with my classmates or with my group about the text i as your teacher will be looking at your metacognitive markers when i grade and look at how deeply you dug in to what you were reading that doesn't mean that every line and every paragraph needs to have a ton of uh, markers but it means that you need to be finding on every page you need to find two or three things to react to okay so this is what you're going to be doing with the text today and in the future even if not asked to it's an excellent strategy to be able to fully understand what you're reading